House Republicans are prepared for this fight, especially your next guest, Congressman Jason Chaffetz of Utah, joining us now. He is a member of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Congressman, we've already seen fights come out. We're seeing it over, you know, and money breeds strange bedfellows, right? Because you got the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and even the unions getting in bed together over some transportation issues. How big of a fight is this sort of unilateral funding issue going to be in the new year? Well, look, 25 cents out of every dollar spent in this country is spent by the federal government. So there's a lot on the line, and there are going to be people fighting. They're going to be resisting the idea that we got to cut the size and scope of government. And you're already seeing that with transportation funding, where the House rules that we're going to be proposing on and voting on next week will actually reduce the amount of money that we allocate for this. And now you see all these people stepping up and saying, wait, wait, wait. We want to cut the we want to cut the debt, but just don't cut our piece of it. Well, and that's and, and, just and not acceptable. And, and they're throwing out rules and laws and court decisions, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of legal mumbo jumbo out there. But do they have a point? I mean, are there enough rules on the books where if Republicans try to cut spending, someone's going to throw some law out written in 1822 and say, "Huh, can't do it." Well, look, if they're relying upon the law, great. But what I worry about is the Obama administration using its rulemaking authority to just unilaterally do something that they wouldn't be able to do necessarily in Congress. You see this with the EPA. You saw the Interior Department put out a press release and do an announcement on December 23rd, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, a day and a half before Christmas, to tie up uh, public lands out here in the West. It's just totally unacceptable, and the Congress is going to fight back, and they should. And David talked about the NLRB proposed rule about you know placards in employee workplaces notifying their right of them of their right to unionize if they want. But what can you do? What can you do against the EPA? What can you do against the National Labor Relations Board? What power do you have? Well, the United States Congress has got to stand up for itself. Remember when Nancy Pelosi said. We're going to have to pass this bill in order to find out what's in it. I mean, that was one of the most unbelievable statements, but in large part it was true because the health care bill and some of the other bills that have come before us have given this unilateral authority to the president and the, and the secretaries to make up the rules as they go along. And so Congress has a duty. My job is not to be the lapdog for the president. My job is to be the check and the balance on the president. And you darn well bet we are going to do that. We have an obligation, but as you, a constitutional obligation to do that. As you brought up in your first point, though, Congressman, listen, when you're talking about money, suddenly things get bipartisan. Don't cut my slice of the pie, whether it's GOP or Democrat. You're going to be in for a number of fights, even from the right, because nobody wants their purse cut. Well, bring it on, because you know what? We're $14 trillion in debt. We're spending five to $600 million a day just in interest on our debt. There are going to have to be some cuts, big cuts, in all different areas. And I think that's what's going to be so dynamic and exciting when John Boehner takes the gavel, because we're going to change the way we do business in Washington, D.C. We're going to have to do more with less, and we're going to have to cut spending. And we're going to have to spread the pain around. Jason Chaffetz of Utah. Congressman, yep. thank you very much. Thank you. Democrats hoping to defuse the battle over end of.